Willie D. Live. What's up, family? We got a mother who confronted her ex-husband's new wife for putting hands on their daughter. What do you think about that? Is it cool? Would you allow your ex's new spouse to put hands on your child if they got out of pocket? What do you say about that? Thumbs up if you would, thumbs down if you would not. I'll give you a few moments. Okay, time's up. Here's what I think. It would depend on the circumstances. It would depend on, on the circumstances. For example, if the mother or the, or the father is involved in the child's life, yeah, you know, I think that's a, that's a big, big no-no. Unless the mother or father actually agreed and said, yeah, you know what, it's cool, you know, that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. But in most cases, I think it's a better idea to call the father or call the mother and allow them to discipline the child. Or the parent that's in the home with the child at the time should be the one to discipline the child. If there's going to be any corporal punishment, there's going to be some touching. It needs to be done by the parent that's in the home with the child at the time. It should be done by the ex, not some new fling or something. Because here's the thing, fam. A lot of times that new spouse is only interested in your ex. And they see your child as a nuisance. So they may not treat your child with that loving, concerning type of energy that a mother or a father, a biological mother or father would. Or they may not treat them like they would treat their own biological child. You see, a lot of times, these new spouses, they come in with a chip on their shoulder and that child, your child, is a reminder, is a constant reminder of you, who they often see as their nemesis, their enemy. You dig what I'm saying? The opposition, the op. So, I think you got to be very, very careful with that. Uh, especially when you start talking about men putting hands on a child that's not his. And that father is involved in the child's life. Because that child, even if the child is out of pocket, even if the child is wrong, that child will go right back to their dad and say, Daddy, he's such, 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 such. And now daddy is like, Especially if he's one of those type of dudes that's protective of his children. You put your hands on that man child, you're going to have some problems. And, you know, this is why before you get into these relationships with these so-called blended families, you should really think about these things. You should try to get an understanding, really, before it ever even gets to that point. You should get an understanding. Have a conversation. Okay, what are the rules? What are not the rules? You know, get an understanding because somebody could get hurt. Most men that I know would not tolerate a man putting hands on their child. Hell, even if they ain't, you know, involved in the child's life, I'm talking about like consistently, right? Even if they're not consistent, that'll be that one time that they are consistent. That'll be the one time they want to step up and be a daddy. So you can get yourself hurt like that, man. You can get yourself seriously hurt like that. Another thing is this, fam. When that step-parent put hands on that child, that child is already, already, maybe already having some type of animosity toward the step-parent anyway for taking them away from their, you know, their, their mother. They may accuse, they may look at the situation as the step-parent 
is the reason why their parents are not together. And they may be the reason that the parent that's with the step parent is not giving them as much attention as they want. So they may already be looking at the step parent as the op. And you put your hands on that child. Now that child is really, really confused. And they're really showing some vitriol. They're showing like real signs of vitriol. Like they don't like you for real. So you got to be very careful in situations like that. Some of these kids, like I said, fam, they bad. They are bad. That's why you should not go into a relationship with people who got bad children. That right there saved you a whole lot of headache. Kids that don't have any home training, they don't mind, they don't respect nothing. Man, don't even put yourself in that position. I know I wouldn't. I don't care how fine she is. Man, she could be the finest chick ever. Ooh, man, it might even be, it, it could be one of those situations like, damn, boy. But I, I can cut it off. I can shut it down. I'd be like, yeah, man. Ooh, damn, what a waste. But I know that being in a relationship with this woman is going to cost me a whole lot more than it would not being in a relationship with her. Like these kids, I'm not going to be able to overcome. Look, fam, when you're in a relationship, you already got your own issues that's going to arise between you and your spouse, right? Y'all already going to have your own issues anyway. That those are Even if they're small issues, there's still going to be issues that are going to come up. Now you're dealing with a, a kid who is honorary? You're dealing with a kid who is uh, disrespectful? And imagine if you're like actually a good step parent and you're doing all the things you're supposed to do. You're riding for them. You know, you are trying to counsel. You're asking you know, what's going on with their day and you're, you're taking them back and forth from uh, the practice, uh, you you study with them, you know, you give them extras, you know, you, you know, you buy them tickets to the concert, you know, you take them to the park, you know, you do all these things that you would do for your natural born. And this is how they repay you? Nah, fam, nah, uh-uh. No way, Jose. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I couldn't even do it with my own biological kids, let alone somebody else's kids. But what say you, fam? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Was the mother wrong for confronting the stepmother? No more talk.